Quickly timed Risen to Glory because I just pressed the record button for YouTube. Well done. Thank you for the bits, the first ones of the week. Here's some bits Ooh. to start the week off and the YouTube video as it turns out. Oh yeah, we gave up on a couple of crappy keeper runs last time. Let's just break in an Eden run and see where we go from there. That's not what I said, maybe. Oh, So we have Eden's Soul, the Halo, and Sombra here, I think. Z2FN, 4AS8, is the seed. Good start. Yeah, okay, this is a very nice start other than being on a burning basement. Not a cellar. Burning basement is, it might as well be a cellar. Because of these little twats and such like. Remind me how Eden's soul works. It gives you, what, two free items based on the room in which you use it. So if you use it in a, like in a devil deal, you get devil items for free. Is that how it is? That is depression. Sad face. I think that's what it does, but it's got like a 15 room charge. So... I mean, we wouldn't have used it on this floor anyway. I think the best place to use it, if indeed I am remembering how it works, would be second floor deal with the devil. Her HP is a little low. In fact, we would have only had three spirit hearts had we not had the halo, so... Item is consumed, vanished from Isaac's inventory, spawns two random item bedstows using the item pool of the current room, yes. Hey, I actually remembered something amazing. So Chad, judging by how many people I've seen mention it on Twitter and in Discord this morning, how are you all coping with the terrible news that you will no longer have easy access to copious amounts of porn via the website Tumblr? I imagine Zeppo and Court are hit pretty hard. So I'm just checking in to make sure you're okay. And thank you, Metal Magpie, for the bits. Hi, YouTube. Tell Flick you want more RimWorld. Yes, tell Flick you want more rimming. That's the adjective form of RimWorld. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You don't rely on one site for porn. I find that hard to be. Tumblr had porn! Apparently! Although, not anymore. Because it got rid of it. Tumblr had other things in porn. I'm pretty sure it was like 90% porn, 10% memes, of which 5% were porn memes. But I think uh, that isn't my generation. Like, Tumblr is not a my generation website. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going by how many people are complaining on Twitter and in Discord this morning. And that picture that Chris B posted of Tumblr share price with the Galaxy, the Guardians of the Galaxy characters pointing and laughing at the <laughs> the huge slump, which is pretty funny. It was unironic. You've never used Tumblr, okay? Well, yes. My understanding is it's all porn, but they they got kicked off the app stores because of that. So they're. Their plan is to get rid of all the porn so they can get back on the app stores, as far as I'm aware. Although why they would want to get back on the app stores when no one's going to use it, I don't know. <laughs> porn equals money? Well, so I've been told. Yeah, the number two or three top comment on that Imgur post. What was your comment? It must have been good. I like that you spelt Tumblr like that. Oh, hello, Famine. No, you can't have me. Also, you're immune to my passive. My, well, my follower. Which is passively doing something, so I wasn't technically incorrect. It was a gift of Drax and Mantis laughing at them. Oh, right, you just did the gif of it. Right, I see. I thought, like, the picture you showed was just the post itself, as in the picture of them laughing was just part of the posting. Really, you were showing off that you got uh, an upgraded comment. I understand now. Your username on Imgur is Drax the Destroyer laughing at your embarrassment. That is oddly specific. Although Drax laughing at Star Lord's embarrassment is pretty funny. 
So, it, we've got a bad tier rate, in case you're wondering why it's taking so long for things to die, even though we have above average damage. Hopefully we'll get our tiers up and then we won't have any problems. Nope. Of course we wouldn't. Just forgetting that we're fighting a boss that drops a set thing. It's not Imager, it's Imgur. I don't know what you mean by flicks doing furries. Oh, you spammed the Gazma mo. I, I still don't agree with your sentiment. No, I don't say GIF, it's GIF. Like in the English language, we put the emphasis on the first syllable, that's the way it is. Don't bring that blasphemy into this room. Wait, what blasphemy? I missed the blasphemy. Oh, right, the GIF stuff, I see. I couldn't read Nightbringer's name because it was in that really dark shade of blue that's very, very hard to read on dark mode. I don't know why I let that hit me. I, I, my dodge was bad. I thought I had moved enough out of the way, but he's firing bigger than average shots. Because he is an elite. Oh, for the love of God, give me a tears up. High Priestess is okay. What's in here? Hmm, if I use that in there, what drop pool does that draw from? I'm not sure. Because it's not a curse room, it's a boss trap room. Hmm. I would like a spirit heart, just because I was getting a little bit worried about us getting hit a lot. I'll still try and hold off for the deal with the devil, though, because that's more consistently likely to be good for us. What should be well, even if it's Krampus, we can still get items, which is, I guess, the nice thing about Eden's soul. Also, how apt that we started an Eden run with Eden's soul. We haven't found the item room yet, but hey, let's just do it because we had that. Uh, I don't want my shade or whatever it's called. Ugh, <laughs> I don't particularly want the shovel or multi-dimensional dead baby is fine. You need a good tier rate to make the best of it. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. That could have worked out a lot better. No, oh, okay. Health down. That's that's a funny joke. Lemon party. At least we know there's a health up pill in the rotation. But I wasn't paying attention to what the color was. I think the shovel can give you a crawl space, so I might as well use it for that. Had I taken them in the other order? Yeah. Well, that was luck of the draw, because they were all question marks. So I'm just I'm sorting the wire on my controller. Not my controller, my headset is hitting against my hand and bugging me. There we go. So what did I binge watch yesterday? I watched the rest of that program we were talking about, Cole. I never the name is not sticking because it's a terrible name. It's the if you can't afford it, we take it or whatever. The as it turns out, Channel Five documentary. Where they're not repo men, they're they have more authority than your average repo man. Repossess people's houses and cars and belongings and you know, put people out on the street because they have debt. It wasn't, it was, it was like watching a car crash, it's that type of program. Yeah, bailiffs essentially, yeah. Peak British TV. But all of them, without like any exception, were just arseholes. You could tell, like exceptionally smug arseholes. Because they've had every insult thrown at them by the people they're putting out on the street, who are in the wrong, like, most of the time. But you can just tell they're exceptionally smug. Also, like, the two they focus on look like they're about 80. So a stiff breeze could knock them over, and they act like they're tough guys, which was incredibly irritating. Just because they have a bit of paper, a writ, from the High Court. And they do, like, like I've heard of this done via certain, like, call centres that chase up people who have debt, where they deliberately form a company with a name that sounds legal 
or, or, or has more authority than they actually do and their version of that is dressing so that they look like policemen even though they are not policemen. They wear stab vests which is fine because I imagine they're very likely to get stabbed. But they have like blue and white squared things on the shoulder that look a bit like what British cops have. And they have like a, a title saying like sheriff something or other on the back of their things. It's to make them look like cops are trying to deter people from putting up a fight when really they're not cops. They have they have legal things they can do, but they're not police. You have to be to have that job. I would imagine you have to be an arsehole to have that job, yes. But the, the only thing that annoys me about it is I don't think they know they're arseholes. I honestly thought we would have had the damage to solve that. But I was forgetting we're firing once every 12 years. Oh, we got a crawl space. There's your proof it can happen. And attack fly is honestly very welcomed because we need something to make up for our tier rate being so terrible. Anything really. Now what's weird is there's only like five episodes of it on Netflix. They're all like 40 minutes long though for the record. So it must have been an hour long show if it was on channel 5 and the rest of the time was adverts. So there's only five episodes. It doesn't make it sound like that's all there is. And the fifth episode is just like parts from the other episodes, but not even- Oh, come on. There's a tier rate up, but it's not one that I'm taking. But it's just like random things that happened in the other episodes all stitched together without any explanation. The narrator doesn't say, here's a compilation of some of the best bits from this season. It's very strange. Don't arseholes not know that they're arseholes? I, you know, I feel like most people who act in a certain way know how they're acting. It's just they're more comfortable with it. And maybe they plan to make more, but it got cancelled. Maybe, I don't know. Channel 5 is known for producing a lot of low effort, low quality, exploitative programming. Or at least it was back when I watched TV. I don't know if it's still true. I can't imagine they've had like a renaissance. They're infamous for having a daytime chat show type thing, like a, a round table format almost, where they had an ex-footballer on as their host, who was incredibly stupid. Like, in, in the IQ sense, he was just dumb, in the truest sense of the word. And there's a very infamous clip of him asking an author what writing in the first person means. As in, like, he genuinely didn't know and thought he'd thought up a a f uh, interesting question to ask an author. And it's a fun clip, but he was also like, oh, I'm, I'm a big talk show man now. I, I've got credibility. When people were just laughing at him for being stupid. Hello, please of cake. It's called If You Can't Pay, We Take It Away. Now, do people agree with me that that is a terrible name for a program? I mean, I'm trying to think of what could be better while also describing what it's about because generally the people who watch Channel 5 are not seen as being the brightest. Mm, let's see, what's a smarter name? They couldn't just call it House Repossessors because there's like cars and things as well. Property Sheriffs. How about that? That's pretty good, right? It makes it sound like they're badasses, even though they're not. They're old, old men with no morals. Or no, no, they have morals. They have no ethics. Britain's Toughest Bailiffs. Now there's a Channel 5 name. That's Channel 5 through and through. There's one on BBC One called The Sheriffs. The Sheriffs are coming. Now that is a good name. Yeah, okay, that's that's a much better name. And now that I know there's a BBC version, I wish that was on Netflix. Because that would probably be a lot more interesting and better done. Because essentially... Oh, does this do anything for me? No. Because essentially all the BBC... Uh, sorry, the Channel 5 version boils down to is... Here's a couple of old white guys going to immigrants who can't afford to pay their rent and repossessing their house and making them cry. So, it, I think, I'm trying to think, without, no, there was one exception where it was a super rich white guy who for some reason wasn't paying his rent 
even though he was rich. But other than that, they were always a minority of some kind getting picked on. Now that could have just been random chance or maybe that's just the way it is, but I don't know, that, that whole program just made me feel dirty and and feel sorry for the people who are in that position as well. I keep on looking at soy milk and I don't want to take it. I would love to have had one more penny, but since we don't, I guess we'll have to miss out on that and take this for survivability. I've never seen Dog the Bounty Hunter, no. I know of it, because South Park did an episode taking the piss out of it. They have multiple seasons of it on US Netflix, and there's some episodes that show some of the guys actually do have souls. Hang on, the US version of Netflix has multiple seasons of a UK show that for some reason on the UK Netflix only has one season. How does that work? That doesn't seem right. Oh, did not expect you to turn that way. Shouldn't it be the other way around? What was the show? If you can't pay, we'll take it away. I think. That was what it was, right? I feel like I'm remembering it. Also, I think it's from like 2013, the first season. I would not be surprised if one of those two old guys who were the main two followed is either retired or dead. Because one of them looked ready for the grave, for sure. Oh, that's true, yeah, they're acting on High Court issued expulsion notices. Alright, we'll risk this. We lost damage, but gained a crap ton of tear rate. That might have been good, as it happens. So yeah, it could be the landlords picking on them, but a lot of the landlords were also of different ethnicities. Camp people, take it away! Yeah, it is a public TV show. You've got to fill it with something. But anyway, I've done watching the one season this year. If they added more, I will watch it. But it's one of those programs I watch to get angry at. More so than anything else. Or sad at. Because there was one poor guy who had to give away his dog. Because his, his crisis council given accommodation after he lost his house and all his belongings. Wasn't allowed to have pets. That's the ones you feel worse for. Also, I just remembered I left that boss trap room on floor one with two red chests and a normal chest and go back and open it well oh I almost got out <laughs> almost if they bounced randomly rather than towards you I would have so anyway now that's done I don't know I rewatched the few seasons of Mitchell and Webb that were on it because I just wanted something in the background that I didn't need to focus on I don't know why, but I have to like really try and convince myself to go watch a movie or like a proper something I need to pay attention to. Because it's not like there isn't things I want to watch, because there is. Did we seriously not find a single red heart since the HP up we got? Or no, I probably just ignored them. Wrongly thinking I had nothing but spirit hearts. The tears up at the cost of damage has not helped as much as I would have hoped, even though we did gain more tears than we lost damage. I'm not watching Downton Abbey. I honestly can't say, it's just that whatever takes my mood in the moment. We really need to deal with the devil on this floor and we need it to be good, so that probably means it's either not going to happen from taking damage or because we get an angel deal. Outlaw King, I watched the trailer for Outlaw King and whatever his name is seemed to do an okay Scottish accent to me from the parts in the trailer anyway. Oh, okay. I have a lot better than Mel Gibson's Scottish accent. Denton Abbey is old lady TV of the highest caliber. I agree. I'm gonna have to remember that's there. And that. We didn't get a Scott to play the role. No, we didn't get a Scott to play Robert the Bruce. Oh. 
I can't think of like any swole Scottish people to play like a warrior king type person. Then the HP up? No. Welp. Remember the holes are there. I feel a sneeze brewing, but it's, it's like, it's very far away, but I can feel the inklings of it. It's waiting for a chance to strike. I did not get that spare heart. I would really like it though. Gotta cling on to hope with that deal with the devil. It took him forever to spawn that. Ah, dear. Jared Butler, if he got back into 300 shape. Yeah, okay. I can see that. But maybe they'd be worried about typecasting him as playing those types of people. He's quite beefy now. What a wonderful way to say it. I've never seen 300 yet. Don't at me. I mean, I know of it. I know the, f the famous lines, but... Isaac's expression? Yeah, that's from Experimental Treatment, which you, you wouldn't normally see in my videos because I refused to take the item, but I was desperate. Wasn't desperate enough to take soy milk again, given that we've taken it twice in like three episodes, four episodes tops. But this is Sparta? Yeah, I know. I've seen the South Park episode that parodied it about the lesbian bar, so I'm pretty much seen the film. Why not, instead of watching 300, I watch that parody version of it, the spoof version, which is called Meet the Spartans? Why don't I watch that instead? And then spend an Isaac episode talking about it in minute detail. That sounds more like something we should do. Rather than watch a good movie. It's not the same. Yeah, it's better, clearly. Oh. I apologize for being sniffly. I woke up today feeling that my cold was worse. Even though I thought I was on the other side of it. Alright, let's see. We need something real good. Oh, that helps. That also helps, honestly. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't help us kill anything, but... We can trade stuff away now, and we've got another spare heart, so... Let's try for a crawl space. Hey, okay. Shovel's kind of working out. Oh, never mind. I've, I don't remember what the corkscrew does. Uh, let's take a stab in the dark. Wait, Tombray's not here, so we can't do that. Let's do something else. Oop. That's the shop, right? Yeah. Could get a 7 saying, why not? No, oh, that's why not. There's a greed in my shop. And now I can't get a 7 cent item. Oh, wait, no, he drops money. It's fine. Or he could drop the seam sale, which is still money. Or he could drop the quarter, which is still money. He's taking forever to die, though. Also, he's firing much too fast. What the hell? Why is he firing faster than normal? Is this room sped up? No, oh, thanks for the money anyway. Hopefully it'll be of use next floor. A stab, yes. I also haven't been using Robo Baby, but honestly, it might be. Ah, no, it's not. It's not worth just using Robo Baby. It's that's when you know the pain has gone too far. That bomb did not help. I mean, it hit him, but it didn't really help. Chad, did I ever tell you the, ex the extended story of the stuff the vet got me to put sorrow on the the specially formulated f biscuits and meat? I won't be able to read your reply until this dies, and I, I miscalculated again because I keep on thinking we can kill faster than we can. 
And this is a champion which just constantly spawns, so I don't know why I'm just bothering taking out the small fry. There we go, now I can. I told you it'd be a bloody angel deal. Presumably we only get one. I mean, I'm going to guess that we're going to get a better space bar item. I don't want the key piece, so nuts to that. <clears throat> Am I giving Sora a human kibble? No, I'm not giving her kibble made out of people. But when I was at the vet last week, or no, it was over a week ago now, I'm sure I mentioned the visit because it was an expensive visit and I'm Scottish, so I like complaining about spending money, which is also why I'm telling this story too. The vet gave me a bunch of stuff to try for her, for her anxiety, got her uh, a calming collar to try and also a, a supplement thing. Which if you saw like that picture of her blepping in the bed the other day there, the black collar she's wearing, that's the calming collar. Oh, and her body harness is red now instead of pink because the pink one ripped. Or part of it ripped and I didn't want to risk her still wearing it. And I went to buy another one and they didn't have any pink ones so red was the only option. But anyway, because she's so anxious, especially when out and about, it wreaks havoc on her bowels. Which means me and my dog are more alike than I would care to admit because we're both overly anxious and have bowel problems. But still... It was to help treat her having like upset bells and loose movements and other things. So she said, "Here, you've you've got her on good biscuits, but the meat you're using is kind of bad. So try this stuff. It's really high quality. It's specially made for digestive stuff." And she gave me a couple of cans and a two kilogram bag of the biscuits. It's called like Doctor Hill's prescription biscuits or something. We're both also very hairy. You don't know how hairy or not hairy I am, Zebo. Don't spread unnecessary rumours. Anyway, you've torn, totally thrown me off. So, visit to the vet, two cans of the food, two kilograms of the biscuits, plus the price for getting seen and she also got a, an antibiotic or something at the time. That was 50 something for the trip. I did get offered a nightmares bill and I wish I'd said yes just to know what they were charging now for the, the special foods, but I didn't. So anyway, the camming collar I got Sora has made no difference. The like supplement thing, no difference. But the, the special biscuits and meat, I did notice a difference. One, she seemed to enjoy it a lot more. And two, she was going to the toilet less, it was firmer, there was less of it. So that implied to me that it was making her bills a lot healthier. That ran out just before the weekend there. So I was like, well, I don't really want to go back to the old stuff, but for one, I'm going to have to until I can find more of this stuff. I don't want to buy it from the vet because I feel like it's expensive. Um, We will fight the boss. Before I'll just try and remember. I haven't found item room yet. Does a red collar make her go faster? Oh god, this is going to take forever. So anyway, I found both on Amazon, and I am going to buy, or I have bought her some, because they arrived just before I started streaming, which was a surprise. But the price brought a tear to my eye, because I, I hate spending lots of money. So what I managed to find, and this is cheaper, I think, just because you're buying in bulk, found 24 cans of the meat, and that costs 50 something pounds. And she goes through like maybe one can every three days, give or take, three, four days, depending. I usually mix it in with the biscuits. And I found a five kilogram bag of the biscuits, also for 50 something pounds, apparently on offer down from 80. And the five kilogram bag I'm not sure, I don't know what that would last or like best guess, a month, maybe, maybe over a month. So it's expensive, but in the time between them arriving today and her going back on her old biscuits and old food, she's had anxiety poops while I've been out walks with her. In general, she's pooping more and it's softer. So the stuff is working. So it's like, I want her to, to 
I was going to say enjoy her poops, but you know what I mean? Not have, like, not go through what I'm going through. So it is unfortunately an expense, but it feels necessary. Like, when she's a bit older, if she calms down, or, like, when she's fixed, if she calms down, she won't necessarily need the stuff that's helping keep her bowels healthy. Because she won't be putting herself in a state. Yes, it is very expensive. I'll keep in mind Sora's a little dog, so she doesn't get that much food. Although once she turns a full year older, she gets more. Like, I keep track of it, how much she gets. Based on the suggestions on the bags. So that's another thing to consider, actually, because she's about to turn a year old, so... Maybe it won't last as long as I'm thinking. Because right now she gets 130 grams three times a day. And that's above what she's supposed to be getting. Although she is often picky and sometimes just leaves some biscuits because, well, she doesn't like the, the old ones as much as she liked the new ones. You know how it is. We haven't found item rooms still yet, right? I kind of just blanked for a second there. No, because we got latchkey from the boss. Will I ever play Cluster Truck again? Probably not, because I played it all. Didn't we play it again, like on a one-off type situation as well? Maya's doing fine. Please stop knocking my shots away, I'd like to kill you. Thank you. I also desperately need to get some tissue to blow my nose during the break. Hopefully it's the cold on the way out if it's starting to let me actually bring up all the horrible, horrible snot that I'm tasting. Bomb, please. I asked nicely and everything, you didn't give me a bomb. to buy my own. Or what's the Thanos line? Well, I'll do it myself. She is, yes. Ooh, that's good, I guess, but 3.37 damage on the mom floor and half an hour taken to get here. This is what we call a train wreck. Well, it could be worse if I was Maggie. Oh, I have water, though. Hang on. Alright, we should be good to go now. We've had the item room, had the boss. We are no stronger. Six dogs of mine go over... Yeah, go over 20 kilograms a month. Oh, you've got six dogs. That's different to having one little dog. Well, reasonably little. Little for a breed. Bleh, bleh, bleh. God, the rooms like these. We're totally going to die on this run, incidentally, because... I don't have the patience to address the later game rooms with how little damage we have. So I'll probably start getting desperate and using attack fly and spell bandages and that will not end well. Because we're also slow. You have to leave for 20 minutes and you return to this as a train wreck. You missed a conversation about doggles. Ugh. And vaginal holes. We've ten, well, we've had one damage up on this entire run, which was the Halo, and we started with it. And that's it. Yeah, we talked about Sora's bowels, but that was just an excuse for me to cry about how much money her special digestive medicine, uh, food rather, not medicine, costs. But you've got to do right by your dogs, as we all know. Blech. That said though, you don't necessarily need to buy your dog something for Christmas. Especially not any kind of costume. It makes them look silly. Give me a reroll, I'll do it. 
That's a do over the floor. Well, let's grab the item room. We can't go into the boss because it's mom, but I'll do the floor again just a, a desperate clinging to the chance of getting some damage. Spider butt would have been good, by which I mean bot. Still need item room. Don't forget that. Oh, getting a toy is different to, yeah, like... The... Uh, Tesco's has an entire section specifically for Christmas themed pet things. Not just cuddly toys that are Christmas themed. Christmas themed like turkey and cranberry flavor meat. Dog treats in the shape of Christmas trees. It's like the dog doesn't fucking care it's Christmas. What are you doing? It wants the treat but it doesn't matter. You can make them penis shaped and the dog would still eat them. I mean, that kind of stuff is just... Not everything needs to be Christmassy. <laughs> Having an excuse to buy your pet something special, that's fine. But it doesn't need to be a Christmassy themed thing. I will spend a key to get two keys, thank you. That seems like some kind of reasonable deal. It's weird that we have an abundance of keys and yet we're suffering when it comes to bombs which I said with the cadence of blah blah small rooms were a mistake <clears throat> I keep meaning to check up on where the hell my copy of four souls is and I only ever remember when I'm playing, and when I'm playing is on a stream, so I always forget by the end of the stream. So chat, remind me afterwards to go to my bloody Kickstarter page and see if there's a dispatch notification for the Four Souls. Also, we must not discuss Poogie in this place. One for spoilers and two for sadness. I did what had to be done. Did anyone see the huge pig in blanket from Asda? I did not. I bought a bunch of mini ones from Tesco's though. You did it? No, 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 no. I didn't say I did anything. You're inferring your own meaning on things I'm saying. <clears throat> Anyway, forget that pig. There may or may not have been... Has anyone seen the film Alive? If you haven't, don't Google it, because I just spoiled things for you. Please. Thank you. His name was Pookie Paulson? Actually, could you just... Yeah, there we go. She's just gonna let Robo Baby handle this one. It'll die in a few years. And then we'll all be able to move on and find this item room that's stopping me having to do all this over again. Uh, full health, well, that's, that's fine. Now you have to catch up with RimWorld. It's like missing a few episodes of your favourite soap opera, which all, obviously you all have favourite soap operas. Even if your favourite soap opera is anime. Luck up. Could you like go shoot them or something for me please? Robo Baby is just ignoring their existence unless I bounce them off the back of the wall for some reason. Alright. I'm a firm believer in that spikes should not continue to function once a room is completed. Uh, wide shot? Yeah, not exactly. Oh my god, it's wide shot, the run is saved. <clears throat> See, now we need something else to talk about. The Game Awards are this Friday, right? Same day Smash is out. What do people think are being revealed? 
Because apparently there's like six new games being revealed. You watched all of Lost and still have no idea what was going on in that show. Don't worry, neither did the writers. <clears throat> Monster Hunter World Sweep. What the hell is Monster Hunter World Sweep? I could see an expansion for World being shown. Oh, more Kojima nonsense. Yeah, that's a given. Barbie's Funhouse 4, Batman Arkham 4. I mean, I, I assume you've seen the rumours that we talked about yesterday regarding the new Batman game. I realised that after Pokemon, like Pokemon Let's Go that is, there wasn't really anything, like any game I was looking forward to in terms of like, oh I can't wait until that's out. That's, every day is going to seem 10 hours long, longer rather, until that particular game is out. But if a new Batman gets revealed this week, and it's going to be like a minimum of like March until it's released, probably later than that, maybe July. That is gonna, it's gonna both hurt and be amazing because it's something to look forward to. Because I want a new Batman game. I mean, I know Smash is out this week. I, I want to play Smash, but I, I would be lying if I said like I was desperately looking forward to it or counting the days. I'm not. I think it's a bit of fun. More Parasite Eve? Eh. It depends what game they decide to make it like. I'm, I think I'm one of the minority who liked Parasite Eve 2, but everybody disliked Parasite Eve 3. The first one was more of a standalone type thing anyway, so it's more of a movie, whereas the second one was more arcadey. But the battle system was more enjoyable as a result. And you could have a gun blade, which just made things better. Because it came out around the same time as Final Fantasy VIII. It's just rumours so far. I think I saw something on Reddit about uh, like a trademark being registered. Although just because something isn't shown at the Game Awards this Friday doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means they didn't have any plans. Obviously we've still got... Well, it's the next big game conference after this is going to be like uh, E3. <laughs> so many vagina holes. So what else is there that could be revealed? It has to be AAA stuff and most people have blown their load already. In terms of like your battlefield, your Call of Duties. Uh, what else is there? Thank you, Blackhawk Smeds, for five months in a row subscription. Welcome back. And thank you for the support. No, Elder Scrolls is too far away. Plus, I think Bethesda are just desperately trying to keep their head down and hope that nobody asks them any uncomfortable questions for like the next four months. Gotta love rooms where it's literally impossible to avoid damage. Great addition to the game. Unless you can fly. Which is a super common status to obtain in this game. Thanks for the charge. Oh, I guess, yeah, they showed a new Elder Scrolls, even if it was super early. It'd be like, remember Elder Scrolls? Please, please like us again. We're sorry we messed up by shitting out a, a desperate cash-in based on our ancient engine. Incidentally, our new Elder Scrolls is being made in the same engine. So look forward to that. If we start taking red hard damage, I believe I'll just go into the curse room to see if we can find something to salvage this because I'm cashing out of this run hard. It's just, it's so tedious. Overwatch 2. I wouldn't find it out of the realm of possibility for it to be like a, a side Overwatch game that's single player or co-op. Which is what I felt like they should have done a long time ago and now that it's not as relevant as it once was, it's probably too late for anyone to care. Which is unfortunate. RimWorld on mobile. That's something to do for. 
I am going to use the explosive diarrhea card in there because I'm desperately after either black hearts or ghost baby. Explosive diarrhea. Okay, we got nothing, but at least you can say I tried. <clears throat> Fallout 17, Elder Scrolls 22. Still in the same engine. It's glorious and dedicated, and they must just really hate making engines. Or they're arrogant and think that they made perfection and have no need to... What hit me there? Was the ghost still alive? Or did I miss a bone coming in? Maybe the ghost spawned on me? Hello, my lager. Fortnite 2? Electric Boogaloo. Come on, I am room B. Magic Mush. I'm not ashamed to ask for something that would make a huge difference. It's Bumble. He wants coin. Bumble is good, but Bumble does not save me. He's also very unhappy until he gets coin. Thank you, Infamy. Has it hanging? Train wreck run. Very bad. We're up to mom. And we have 3.37 damage, which is less than starting damage, incidentally. This is going to. At least we've got normal mom, but this is still going to be difficult. Also, it took us 43 fecking minutes to get to Mom. Drop your foot more, please. I forgot we had ball bandages. Blah, blah. Well, I've gone cross-eyed just from lack of interest in this fight. Blah, blah, blah. Sacred Heart. Uh, the Shield, Dead Dove, Lazarus's Rags. We'll take that for Flight, because Flight might help, I guess. Oh dear. PUBG 2. I think they have to get the first one out of battle first. It's weird, because I'm trying to think, like, what games would I love to see revealed, even if it was out of the realm of possibility? Like, I don't care if Randy Pitchford is going to shit out Borderlands 3. I, I still might play it, but I don't particularly care and would not be looking forward to it. A new Batman game, I absolutely would look forward to it. I'd be counting the days, as sad as that is. Even if it's not out till July or whatever, or September or something stupid like that. What else could they reveal that I'd be that enthused about? A Monster Hunter World expansion pack that adds, like, G-Rank, a bunch of new monsters, new maps. I'd, I'd be equally excited about that, I feel. Other than those two? In terms of like triple A stuff, so we're not talking indie games, we're not talking like Isaac 2 or Hollow Knight 2 or anything like that. I, I can't think of anything. I mean, I assume they're already working on another new God of War, but that's not going to be 2019. That'll be 2020 at the earliest. Thank you, Robin the Boy Bl Wait, Thank you. Hello, Robin the Boy Blunder. Gift. And thank you to an anonymous gifter who has given a tier 1 sub to John M. Dudley. Either randomly or directly, I don't know. Can you call Binding of Isaac Indy anymore? Yes. Being around for a while doesn't make it not indie anymore. It's made and published by an indie company. So I think we have, we're have we back up to three hearts now, but we're probably still dead on this floor. Uh, let's, uh, let's test, because we're just going to carry the devil. Nope, we are at three hearts. A new Uncharted. A new Horizon Zero Dawn. I'd, again, I'd be moderately interested, but I'm talking about like getting getting hyped like you're a kid. That, that kind of hype level. I'm glad there's at least two things. But I'm having trouble thinking of any others. 
Thank you, Emily Toronto, for 27 months in a row with Twitch Prime. That is almost one entire year. And on that subject, we need a third Twitch baby name. Well, almost a year of lurking. You might want to think about a restraining order. Well, it sounds like you've just picked our third Twitch baby name, which will be He's in the House. So take good care of He's in the House. Dino Crisis 3. That would be an interesting. Oh, you know what? I am really looking forward to the Resident Evil 2 remake. Totally forgot about that. And that's out in January. So I am looking forward to that with a moderate amount of hype. I would say. Yeah, that totally slipped my mind. Another fable? Nah. Hmm. I'd be interested in like a bunch of RPGs when I was younger and had time for them, but as an adult I'm more after kind of like the God of War experience where you get a damn fine experience that's like 20 to 30 hours tops. Maybe even like 15 to 25. Last of Us 2? Not really, honestly. I did like the first one, but I feel like it should have been a one-off and they're just cashing in on it being popular at the time. I felt like it was a complete story. It didn't need anything added to it. Oh, a new Shadow Warrior would be fun, yeah. Again, not like super hype levels, but I wouldn't mind playing one, yeah. I like Shadow Warrior too. Sufficient level of tongue-in-cheek. But we didn't get through Yakuza 0, so I wouldn't be particularly fussed about another Yakuza game, no. Nothing against it, it's just... It's too long. Too long and I don't think the fighting is that good in it, either. Especially the boss fights. Where they're just immune forever. Hello, evil diglets. We're not even fast enough to outrun the bloody masks. This is where we die. Not necessarily this room, but this fo floor, I feel. Thank you again, Infamy. Not enough karaoke? Well, fair enough, there wasn't enough karaoke. Although I did all the ones that had, like, special songs, the rest were for girls. You had to bring a date along and then just clap while they sing. I'm just gonna have to cheese this room if you don't mind, because I don't really have much choice. Three point nine damage. Wait, what did we pick up that gave us a very small damage up? The dead dove increased my damage by like point three. Oh no, something in that room increased my damage. Hmm. Another XCOM? Okay, yeah. If they announce another XCOM, I would look forward to that. Yeah. That is fair. Terror of the Deep redone in the new canon. Yeah, okay. I'm glad we found a third thing. Might just die to bad RNG here. Depending on how it goes. Could technically kill him faster by using the devil, but that's not going to be an issue because we died there. What a terrible run. 50 minutes to get to win one. Anyway, for the people watching after the fact on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Stop for now.